for example one, I'm giving you that DE is the mid-segment of triangle ABC. Take a moment, try to solve the problem. It should be a pretty easy problem to solve, and then I'll go through the answer. Okay, mid-segment DE. This means that the length of DE is going to be half the length of AC. X is 13. You could also write that X equals half of 26. Or you can say that if we double X, then that would equal 26. Any way you look at it, you are going to end up with X equals 13. Next example. Again, DE is the mid-segment of ABC. Pause your video now if you need to. Otherwise, here's the solution. Again, if DE is the mid-segment, that means that the third side is twice as long as DE. So if DE is 5, AC must be 10. You could also say that 2 times the mid-segment will equal the third side, or this mid-segment equals half of the third side. Any way you look at it, you end up with X equals 10. Last problem again, D is the mid-segment. Take a moment, this one's a little different. Pause if you need to and resume when you're ready. For this one, because D is the mid-segment, we have to go back to our definition of mid-segment. It means that D is a midpoint and E is a midpoint. If D is a midpoint, then BD is congruent to DA, meaning that X must also be six. If you want to, the whole length BA must be 12. Okay, how about something a little bit trickier? Here we're going to use triangle GHJ, where A, B, C are midpoints of the sides. Okay, right away when you see midpoints, I would mark them. We're told if AB is 3x plus 8 and GJ is 2x plus 24, what is AB? If AC is 3y minus 5 and HJ is 4y plus 2, what is HB? If GH is 7z minus 1 and BC is 4z minus 3, what is GH? Take a moment, work this one out for yourself. When you're ready, resume the video and follow along with my solutions. Let's start with A. We know that AB is 3x plus 8, and its third side, GJ, is 2x plus 24. There's a number of ways you can do this. One way is to reason through that if you double AB, then that will equal the length of GJ. We get 6x plus 16 equals 2x plus 24, which means that 4x equals 8, x equals 2. But we want to know the length of AB, which is the mid-segment. We plug 2 back in, we find that 3x plus 8 will become 6 plus 8, which becomes 14. That is our final answer. Okay, part B. If AC is 3y minus 5, and we're told that HJ is 4y plus 2, Notice this is a mid-segment and it's third side, and we want to find HB. Well, if we were to, another way you can do this is you can say that 3Y minus 5 is equal to half of the third side. 3Y minus 5 equals 2Y plus 1. Y equals 6. But we want to find HB. We plug 6 in to 4y plus 2, giving us 4 times 6 plus 2, 26. So hb is.